Hello friends uh, welcome so now let's try let's try creating a new plugin from so scratch okay so for that what are the requirements okay so go through the uh, and this is the plugin handbook from developer.wordpress.org and this handbook is very good to get started learning plugin development okay i always recommend this this uh, uh, handbook okay so let's start with the plugin basics okay so in the plugin basics first we have to create a plugin uh, folder name into the wp content plugins directory so let's uh, step by step also uh, side by side create a plugins so i am going to create a plugin called movie library so where i will uh, add a movie information which i want to show on my website so i will just create a movie library so when we create a plugin folder we have to keep either you can use um, underscore or the hyphen we cannot use the dash okay and keep it in the uh, small uh, small lower cases okay and this in a movie library which we have created a folder okay so first step is completed now uh, we have to uh, create a header requirements like as we seen in hello dolly we have to provide a header for header content which will used by the wordpress to display the plugins information into the wordpress dashboard plugins page okay so for minimum fields we can only have to provide a plugin name which is fine enough so let's add this plugin name uh, first uh, so what i will do is um, as a like as a best practice i will create a, a main file called movie library which is the same as the plugin folder name and there is a reason behind that so that uh, like uh, like if the file name is not matched with the plugin folder name which also we can call a uh, plugin slug okay so uh, wordpress will uh, look for uh, parse all the files available at, uh, in the movie library at a root level and it will see which file have that plugin header information and that file will act as a main plugin file okay so uh, if we add a, if we keep the main plugin file name same as the folder name then it's easy for for uh, identifying okay so here i will just uh, add a main plugin file name here and i will keep a plugin name called movie library movie library okay so let's see how uh, this uh, plugin display in uh, in our dashboard or not so if i click on here you can see now movie library here you can see activate and delete currently if we activate the plugin it does do and nothing because we haven't added any functionality but uh, the wordpress identified a new plugin called movie library and just saying the movie library name okay so this is like very simple way to create uh, to get started creating the plugin okay now let's see what are the other header fields uh, we have so plugin name so name of your plugin okay which display in the uh, admin as we have seen the plugin uri so a plugin URI must be a URL, uh, like if your plugin is available on wordpress.org plugins directly, that URL you can add. If, you're, uh, if you haven't published your plugin on wordpress.org plugin directly, but your, uh, your plugin is available on a GitHub, then you can also add a URL of that GitHub, uh, GitHub repository URL, okay? Then a description. The description is like the short description of your plugin. So it said from the description, usually I didn't uh, just know that what this plugin exactly do, what kind of functionality plugins provide. Okay, and as a best practice, we have to keep uh, less than 140 characters. Okay, so that it display uh, uh, properly into the WordPress admin pay, uh, dashboard. Then there is a version, so current version of the plugin. So such as like 1.0 or maybe 1.2. So depends on how you are using the WordPress uh, versioning. So versioning is helpful. So for example, let's say currently you have initially released the version as a 1.0, your plugin, uh, okay. And next you have added some other functionality or, or you have fixed some bugs in your plugin and you want releasing. So you, it, like, you have changed your version is like 1.1 or maybe 1.0.1. So based on this version number, and if your WordPress, uh, your plugin is uh, ho published on WordPress.org directly and if it's installed by the user and if version number has been updated, then uh, it will show a WordPress update, uh, plugin update notification in the plugins so that user identify that, okay, these are the uh, plugins updates are available and they can update their plugins uh, from the WordPress dashboard, okay? Then there is a, another field is required at least. 
So this field is used to identify to just uh, tell the users that what is the minimum WordPress version is required to plug in works because like there is uh, if we are using uh, if you, if you are creating a plugin and if you are using some of the WordPress function which are like uh, for example available in WordPress 5.0 version okay and that function is not available in less than version and your plug so your plugins at least require 5.0 because there is uh, some dependencies on that functions okay if you if that function um, so th this information uh, helpful for the user because they can know that okay this plugin works with the minimum uh, WordPress version with the minimum uh, given WordPress version and all, uh, older versions may not plug in that may, that plugin may not work so at least user cannot install that plugin on their older versions if they are using it older version of the WordPress okay and in this way user can uh, avoid any errors or any broken site or anything and this is very helpful information like developers should provide this uh, uh, version which were like what, what is the minimum wordpress version required to run your plugin okay and similarly there is a another field required php so similarly similar to the wordpress version uh, developers should provide with what is the minimum php version required to run your plugin okay because uh, there are uh, php versions are new there are newer versions there are older versions and if your plugin depends on some of the php uses some php functions which are not available in older versions and if user install your plugin and activate that plugin, then might be could give a fatal error and maybe it break it, it break the user side. So it's better to give the required PHP information as well. So at least this information display to the user, okay, uh, before the installing the uh, WordPress, uh, installing your plugin in 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 their sites, okay. Then there is a, another two fields called author and author URI. So author like uh, giving the author name or maybe multiple authors with a comma separated and author URL. Uh, like the you can provide your website name or you can provide some other way if you have any a website and you can provide your website URL if you don't have any website but you want to provide a github profile or WordPress profile then you can uh, add that then there is a license and license URL so your plugin should define what is the what license your plugins is belong to and currently we use the GPL v2 version uh, for licensing then there is a tax domain so tax domain is used uh, for in, uh, for, for internationalization and for localization okay uh, don't worry about it we will learn uh, uh, the localization internalization in next videos okay but tax domain used that and for as a best practice we use the tax domain same as the uh, folder uh, plugin folder name okay then there is a domain part so domain part is that uh, provide where your translation files like when we talk about uh, uh, internationalization localization the users can use your plugin in their own languages for example if i am using a wordpress in gujarati language and there is a plugin i have i am using the, uh, uh, one of the plugin and if that plugin translation available in gujarati and if i am using wordpress in a gujarati language then that plugin uh, gujarati translation file will be installed on my look uh, on my on my site and i can use that plugin within the gujarati language okay so for that for the translations uh, the uh, developers can add the translations file po and mo dot po file and dot mo file in into the languages folder and what or whatever folder name they they want to keep and that folder name they have to provide into the domain part okay and there is a uh, another call uh, header requirement is network whether this plugin on and only be activated by network wide or not okay so it's just like true or false if your plugin only uh, if there is a multi-site installation setup and your plugin is like only be activated uh, throughout the network so you have to keep it set true so that uh, in the multi-site setup users cannot activate the plugin on site basis they have to activate the plugin from the admin network okay and there is a another field at a uh, required field is update uri okay so this allows the third party plugins to avoid accidentally being overwritten with an update of your plugin because um, there could be chances that uh, uh, I am using some plugin not available on wordpress.org repos uh, plugins uh, directory but uh, available on a github and manually I have downloaded a zip file and installed it but the similar plugin name uh, also available on wordpress.org okay so if the same plugin is available and if this field is not defined uh, then it may probably that wordpress may identify that this plugin is installed from the wordpress.org plugin directory and probably if there is an update available and if user accidentally update it 
then they update a wrong plugin so here you can add an updated uri from like if, if if it's from the github then you can add the github uri so that it won't be updated from the official wordpress.org plugins directory okay so these are the uh, fields are there so let's copy these fields from here and add it up to our movie library uh, plugin okay so here i will just simply uh, replace this and let's quickly uh, uh, rename the fields all uh, movie library i will for now keep it something uh, learn.rtcam.com for now um, then uh, handle a movie library plugin a movie library uh, is plugin provides a features to create a movie library very simple description we can add for now uh, initial version is 1.0.0 um, then requires at least 5.2 i maybe i can say 5.0 required space we have 7.2 version is fine here i can give a name is called chandra okay uh, for now and then author url is i will just keep it for now is it's the same okay license license URI we will use gpl2 update uri uh, I, uh currently we don't need this one but still i will keep it this one so that if any if cm plugin available on wordpress.org plugins directly then accidentally it won't show update notification here text domain will be a uh, movie library same as my pl plugin folder or we can say plugins log uh library okay and the domain part will be languages folder so for now i can go ahead and create a languages folder languages folder okay so maybe i made some spelling mistake okay now currently it will be empty it's fine okay so this is the header now we have added now let's uh check into the here let's load the page now you can see the description um then version then author name and the site okay and if you see here in the hello doll if you click on a view details the information displayed here uh, from the wordpress.org directory okay so here you can show us uh, you can see those filter like compatible up to uh, then requires requires wordpress version is 4.6 or higher la when is last updated the version number the author name or all the information displayed here okay so this information displayed uh, based on that uh, pl plugin header requirements okay see you on the next video jay wordpress